uh, just to remind you, you have to again, the queen is on h5, the target square is a1, two players alternate to move the queen, and the winner is the one who gets to a1 first. Um, obviously, you can only go towards the target, otherwise the game would never end, so you're not allowed to go right and up. Now, is there a winning strategy? Would somebody like to quickly maybe play this against me? Someone? Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Let's go. Would you like to be first or second player? Uh, would you like to start? Or? No, 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 come here, come here. Uh -huh. Would you like to start or would mm -hmm. you like to be second? You start. I start. Okay, that's a very wise move. <laughs> <laughs> so I go maybe queen to f5. Looks very similar, but the strategy is completely different. 
You've got two queens. You can move either queen. So there is a black queen and a white queen. Again, you move towards the target square. Whoever gets a queen onto the target square wins the game. Now, who would like to play that against me? OK, I think I have to try. Yeah. <laughs> who would like to be first or second? First. First. Yeah. OK, we'll try to play this queen there. Am I allowed to? Yeah, sure. Okay, the queens can't capture each other, so so that's fine. Right, I will go with this queen to here, let's say, G2. So we've got the queen on G2 and on okay. G5. So I play this one here on D2. D2, okay. Okay, I go to E2. <laughs> That's me. So we have queens in C2 and D2, right? You've got D2, D2 and E2. Two queens are D2 and E2. I go to B5. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no. no. No, no, you can't be this one. No. You can't yes. go up. You can't go backwards. Oh, okay. You have Five. to go towards Sorry, I'm trapped. No, I'm trapped. I am trapped. <laughs> I, am trapped. <laughs> I go to C2 and I guess you go to D2. If you go to C2, then I go to D2. Yeah, I mean and then I'm trapped. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, yes, I think that's I'm trapped. Would you like to try again? Mm -hmm. Try again? Mm -hmm. No, one no, reaction action at a time. One reaction at a time. Thank you. The, the, the end the end of the 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 yes. The ending condition of that game could be changed to whoever puts the last win in A1 wins. Whoever puts the last win? The second win. Yeah. yeah. The last win. There are two. But whoever put. So, so the first win is already there? And no, 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 no. The, the, the initial position can be that one. But the, the goal of the game is to put the last win, second, in A1. Because they will both die there. You assume that both queens can take be in the same square, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So the ending condition could be both the last queen in A1 wins. Okay, so you can play that way. I'm not sure what the winning strategy is then. That is the what? What is the winning strategy then? But I don't know. You don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards. So here, um, it's the first person who has the winning strategy and did play the winning strategy, but I wasn't quite sure how to follow because for me to have the winning strategy, I have to actually have to try and take the place of the first player, and I couldn't. But by luck, I managed at the end to win. So one way to win this elegantly is is just think about symmetry, symmetry around the main diagonal, and the first player simply just puts the queen symmetrical to the other queen uh, over the main diagonal. And now, whatever the, whichever queen the second player moves, you can always move symmetrically to that queen. And eventually, you will be the first one to get to A1. So let's say I go there, second player goes to F3, then I go to C6. Let's say second player goes to E3, I go to C5. Then D3, C4, C2, D3, and then the player lost. And you'll be able to do the queen to A1. Would you like to tell us how to play that way? Okay, okay later, later. Later, later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because that game can be played with any number of, 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 of queens, but under my condition is the normal condition is last player wins. Mm -hmm. So the first right, one right. to run out of, run out of uh, legal moves loses. Mm -hmm. Let's see the other one. If I can find them out. Just to remind you, this was an open tool for the rook. Um, I think Johnny called it the rook, rook to the corner. Okay, yeah. So you've got the rook on a1, and you'd like to put the rook on h8. The only condition is you want to visit every single square.
square of the chessboard on your way there. To visit means it's okay to go over it. Let's say if your first move is from A1 to A8, then you visited all the squares on your way. So I give you a piece of paper, you try it, you try it, you can't do it. Then you think, oh, maybe it can't be done. Let's have children think if there's something they can't do, then obviously it can't be done. But they're not thinking about how to go next. And it's actually quite a relevation for them that it can be proven that it can't be done. To prove the impossible, that's something that many, uh, the first experience for children when they, when they see that is, is quite a, an amazing a thing in mathematics. So how can we prove that it can't be done? Well, um, they give them hints. One thing, one thing, most important thing is think parity, black and white, one and two. But how can that help us? Well, ask some leading questions from the children. How many squares does the rook visit on its way to age eight? By visiting, Going over it is also visited. So how many squares does the rook visit on, the, on his way to age eight? Let's suppose he can get there. How many squares are there? We start from here, so let's say it's not visited, we haven't started moving yet. So how many squares do we need to visit? 63. 63. Yeah. So 63 squares to visit. What's the color of the first, second, third, fourth squares? The first square is white, the second one is Dark, the third square is white, the fourth square is dark, and so on. So the colors alternate. So odd, even, parity. Could somebody continue with the reasoning? What will be the 63rd square visited? What color will be the 63rd square? White. Yeah? And the 63rd square has to be a black square, so we can't actually do it. So you can see it here. Um, every red arrow represents an odd move, the first, the third, the fifth, the seventh, and so on. Every blue arrow represents an even move, and to get there, we have to make odd number of moves. So it can't be done. Now this is called an open tour of the rook, because a tour means you're visiting every single square on the chessboard. Open stands for the starting point is not the same as the end point. There are many open tours. Um, and there was closed doors, and there is another very exciting investigation coming from the closed door of the room. We don't feel it any more time, so I'm not going to move very quickly. But it's just a few drawings about closed doors. This is a closed door which consists of 16 moves. That one consists of 28 moves. And here's the longest one I found, there was 56 moves. I can prove and told many children how, why this is definitely 16. The minimum number of moves you need to make is 16. Um, this is a bit tricky. I gave that to other mathematicians to prove that the maximum is 56. You can't make it any. You can't make any more turns than that. So that's the maximum number of moves there are. So that's. To. And just to go back to the Hamiltonian paths very, very quickly. Here we go. They can occur on the chessboard as well. You can make a graph on the chessboard for the rook if you take the nodes of the graph to be the middle of the squares and the, the lines between the squares is the, is the arc in the graph. So this is a this is a graph of the room, and the red line, which corresponds to this open tour, is a Hamiltonian path in that graph, for example. So there can a lot of mathematics that can make itself known on the chessboard. It's even more interesting for the Knight's tour, when you make the Knight's graph, and that can also have a, a Hamiltonian I just want to show you quickly here the knight's graph. It's each knight move is a edge, and the nodes are all, all the squares. So like you can see that eight times eight squares. So this is the knight's graph, and when you are looking at the knight's tool, you are looking for Hamiltonian paths, which are actually not a very easy 
thing to find in general. So the bigger the board, the larger the board, the harder it is to find those Hamiltonian parts. Thank you.